I told my whole family to stay downstairs for just 30 minutes and I can hear them and it's so distracting. I'm so sorry. Also, my laptop. Hopefully that's better too. I got picked to be one of the panelists on Canada Reads this year, which is this annual book debate that CBC hosts end of March. This year's theme is to find the one book to change everyone's perspective. So can you tell us for kids who might not know, what is Canada Reads? Yeah, so I think the best way to explain it, or at least how I was told, is that it's kind of like Big Brother, the reality show. So it spans for four days, and each day we get to vote off one book. And then on the last day, we get to choose the one book that we think everybody should read that aligns with the theme, which is to change your perspective. How did you feel when you were asked to be a panelist? Insane. I did not expect the call whatsoever. I was studying for a midterm, I think, when she called me during, I was like at Starbucks studying. I don't see my TikTok existing outside of this bedroom. So yeah, I'm very honored that I get to bring that perspective onto the show, especially with this year's theme. And yeah, I'm so excited. How did you choose Mexican Gothic as the book to champion? So I'm a huge fan of Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I have all of her books. And I wanted to bring a book that, you know, changes perspectives, could be enjoyable, you know, get that peak escapism. So yeah, that's why I chose Mexican Gothic at the end. So you're gonna, I'm gonna give you a topic and you're gonna give me a book recommendation that goes with that topic. Okay. Number one, the best book for having a good cry. Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller or The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Both got me, yeah, like visceral sobbing. Your favorite TV or movie adaptation of a book? I know this is very unpopular, but I really liked um, City of Bones, which is by Cassandra Clare. I know a lot of people didn't like the original adaptation, but I thought the characters played their role perfectly. A book that you think should be required reading in every Canadian middle school? Oh, I think Percy Jackson. I feel like it's such a good book to get people into reading. So now I want to play a game with you and it's called I'd Rather Be Reading. So okay. I'm going to name an activity and you tell me if you'd rather be reading than doing that activity. Okay. Would you rather be reading or sharing a big meal with family? I've had a great appreciation with family now that because I'm at school and working full time. So with those rare moments where my entire family's home, which is very rare in my household, I would rather be eating with my family. But then they'll know like once dinner is done, I'm going upstairs to read. So Yeah. Okay. Go so would you rather be reading or scrolling through book talk? <laughs> it's some people like a new like trend on book talk specifically is people will literally be scrolling through book talk and they'll see a video about like someone saying like shouldn't you be reading right now? Don't call me out, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be reading or binge watching your favorite TV show? I'm one of those people who can read and watch TV at the same time. Is that weird? Like I listen to TV and then I read. That's ins that's actually, that's crazy to me personally. Yeah, I do both perfectly. Yeah. Wow, that, that is extremely impressive. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs>